Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Apple iPad. Now, quick update for you, if you haven't seen my other videos, please do check out the main Geekanoids channel. I've got a whole host of videos covering the iPad with various application reviews and a good product tour of the device itself. Well, this is my fifth video and in this video I'm going to be covering the mail application that comes pre-installed on the device. If you saw some of my earlier videos, I was going to cover this mail app in another video, but due to technical issues, I've had to reshoot it. So let's get this video underway and launch the mail app. We're actually in portrait mode at the moment, and in this particular orientation, you're presented with the main body of the email taking up the whole screen. If you want to see what other emails you've got in your inbox, you simply tap the inbox icon at the top of the screen, and then you're given this overlay sort of pop-up menu come up and this shows you all of the emails that you've actually received for this account. I can tap on another email and then it will show me the email again full screen so you get a real nice large display in this view so you can actually scroll through the email again. If I tap on that inbox icon again you can see that up here it's giving me my email address I can actually tap that icon and look at other accounts as well. So I haven't just got to have one account set up. I can have multiple accounts. If I tap away, that overlay disappears. Also got up and down arrows here. So I can push the down arrow and it will go to the next email down in my inbox or the up arrow for an earlier email. This little icon here, if I tap this, then this shows me my mailbox view and I can actually gain access to other mailboxes. If I tap the trash can, then it will delete just the email that I'm viewing at the time. And if I tap this icon here, I get the option of replying to the email or forwarding it to somebody. And the very last icon is for composing a brand new email. So here the on-screen keyboard pops up and I can type the ePad when I've finished it I can click send I can add more than one recipient or I can cancel to go back one stage and back into my inbox now I'm going to rotate this round into landscape view and this is a, a nice view as well and in this particular view I have got my inbox and email showing on the left hand side here and then the main body of the email on the right hand panel so I can scroll up and down through my emails here I can scroll up and down through the content of the email on that right hand panel again I can go back to select a different account same icons here for uh, the various actions I showed you earlier uh, another good one is that I can actually if I want to get rid of one email I can slide across and a delete icon comes up so I can delete just from this panel here or obviously the other option is hitting the trash can if I want to delete multiple emails I can tap the edit icon and then this greys out the right hand panel and then in this panel here I've got little radio buttons and I can tap on these and it will stack up all of the emails that I select and then I've got an option of either moving those to another folder or another mailbox or deleting them. So if I hit delete, it will delete all three emails I selected. So a really easy way of managing your emails. So that's the mail app uh, on the Apple iPad. I hope that gives you a good overview of how it functions. I think it's very nice to use. It does also offer up uh, a sort of simple way of doing multitasking in the fact that if I click on a link that's embedded in an email it will open up the Safari browser but it will keep the mail app running in the background as soon as I close Safari it goes straight back to the mail application so a form of multitasking between the Apple supplied apps is definitely there on the iPad well thanks very much for listening and do come back soon to the Geek and Noise channel to check out more tech related video reviews this video review is sponsored by EasyDraw making drawing fun on Mac OS X.